All right, the traders are answering your questions. First up, Stephanie Link from Allen in Phoenix, Arizona. Is Zoetis breaking out right now? I mean, I like Zoetis, whether it's breaking out or not. It's best in class. It's the number one animal health company. Strong execution. They just beat numbers, raised guidance. Um, we love our pets. And so U.S. product sales up 19% was not surprising, but it was a good number. So I like the story very much. I've got two dogs and spent a lot of money on those care products for sure, Stephanie Link. Now for Jim Labenthal from Terry in <laughs> San Diego. What's your take on General Motors? Okay, three things really quickly here. One, auto sales are picking up here in the U.S. That's very clear. What's also clear is that within light vehicle sales, pickup trucks, which are where the big margins are, are picking up, no pun intended. Finally, the company should, and I hope will, at some point spin out the electric vehicle division, and that would unlock tremendous value in the stock. The first two enough are sufficient. The third would be really nice gravy on top. All right, and for John Nigerian from Ashok in Pennsylvania, in times of increasing volatility and sell-offs like September 3rd, how do investors quote-unquote buy protection to safeguard their portfolio? If options are the typical safeguarding strategy, how does one calculate how much protection to buy? Uh, well, that's a great uh, question. And I, I look at the S&P 500 puts as the way to do that for an S&P 500 portfolio the triple Qs for the NASDAQ portfolio, Dom. And um, you don't want to do that on days like yesterday or today because the volatility just exploded, which means those premiums are sky high. Like Pete always says, buy them when you can, not when you have to. And I think if you follow that, you'll be a much better and richer investor. All right. And Shannon Sakosha, how do you feel about Trex in this environment? I will say that I'm one of the folks out there who put in a deck over the last six to nine months, so I know exactly what the home improvement trade is all about. So we bought this back in June of last year. Um, it's about twice the price that I paid for it, so there's been a nice gain in this stock. Um, to Steph's point, there might be a little bit of a pullback here in some of these home improvement stocks as, as the reopening trade moves forward, but this is really an area where we think there's going to be continued growth. We think there's going to continue to be home improvement, and this is just, a, they, they are not fully saturated across the market, and this, so there's a lot of share gains to be had here. It's a 54% in just the last 12 months there for Trex.